dear students our next topic is signal distortion in optical fibers that is mean by dispersion dispersion means it is the optical signal causes distortion for both digital and analog transmission along the optical fibers that is an optical signal is distorted as it travel along a fiber the distortion is due to intramodal dispersion and intermodal delay effect and in our optical fiber communication in digital communication information is transmitted in the form of pulses we already known that but it is travel for a long distances it is unrecognizable due to some losses that is some pulse broadening and adjacent pulses is overlap to each other hence we have to limit the number of maximum number of pulses sent per second that is mb per second this phenomenon of pulse broadening is referred to as dispersion and the media that process this property is called the dispersive media and that media is called dispersive media and the process is called dispersion that is in case of a rainbow that is white light is split into different color components that is a dispersion effect alternatively in the prism also the dispersion causes the white color is separate into different wavelength colors and there are two types of dispersion intramodal dispersion and intermodal dispersion in the intramodal in the intramodal dispersion it is mainly classified into three types that is material or chromatic dispersion next is the waveguide dispersion third is the group velocity dispersion gvd or modal dispersion and next the main dispersion type is intermodal dispersion and uh, as you all know the dispersion means it refers to spreading of light pulses when propagates through a long distances and uh, it also introduces intersymbol interference that is some interference between the light and it and it limits the information carrying capacity of a fiber and we have to start about the intramodal dispersion in this intramodal dispersion it is a pulse spreading that occurs within a single mode that is it is occurs in a uh, single mode that is intramodal and uh, single mode and also sometimes it is multi mode fibers that is intramodal dispersion occurs in sometime multi mode or single mode fiber intramodal or modal dispersion occurs only in intermodal but in intermodal the dispersion occurs only in the multi mode fiber and uh, it arises due to group velocity being a function of wavelength that is in each type of dispersion and mechanism leads to the pulse spreading that is the increasing spe spectral width of the optical source will increase the intramodal dispersion and the spreading of the optical pulse limits the information carrying capacity of the fiber and the next is a intramodal uh, dispersion or the chromatic dispersion chromatic it means the intramodal or chromatic dispersion depends uh, mainly on the fiber material there are two types of intramodal dispersion first one first one is the material dispersion and second is the waveguide dispersion in case of a material dispersion the dispersion arises due to the variation of the refractive index of the core material as a function of wavelength or frequency of light that is we already know light is a type of electromagnetic wave it's sent through a optical fiber and uh, it consists of electric and magnetic field and is orthogonal to each other and when it is travel in the light is travel through a free space the speed of 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second and because of the various refractive index profile the speed is some reduced and uh, the refractive index of uh, this material is depend on the frequency dependent parameter therefore the speed of light in a particular material is frequency dependent phenomenon and it is called a chromatic dispersion or material dispersion and uh, this cause a wavelength depends of the group velocity of any given mode that is pulse spreading occurs even when different wavelength follow the same path and uh, the in order to minimize the material dispersion the material dispersion can be reduced either by choosing sources with a very narrower spectral output width or by operating a longer wavelength that is all about the material dispersion 
this is a figure that is the Gaussian pulse it is traveled through a fiber the x-axis is time and the y-axis is amplitude but due to dispersion phenomena the pulse broaden that is chromatic dispersion the the pulse is broadly spread across the media and the amplitude is low that is the optical pulse used in telecommunication applications has a special shape and it is called a Gaussian pulse and it is the Gaussian pulse and the optical pulse that the pulse that pass through optical fiber and it contains a single bit of information and it consists of thousands of photons photons means light and it consists of a single bit and it consists of many thousands of light this pulse is very intense because the photons are more concentrated in the center of pulse that is the optical pulse generated by an ideal monochromatic source that is a single source should contain photons of a single frequency that is the monochromatic source contain the light contain a single frequency and all photons will then travel at the same speed but when practically a source is available such a source is available in practical systems an LED or laser source is used which is not truly monochromatic the sun optical pulse contains photons with different frequencies so a the monochromatic pulse is even not available and the optical pulse thus an optical pulse is containing photons with different types of frequencies so the traveling speed is slightly different and it causes the pulse broadening that is in this figure and it causes the pulse broadening the broadened pulse has reduced peak intensity as compared to transmitted pulse you just see the figures the broadened pulse amplitude has very low than the transmitted pulse and hence the so the pulse are overlapped it becomes very very difficult to detect which pulse we have to transmit it through the section thus chromatic dispersion is a main limiting factor for high data rate transmission and so the in order to minimize the material dispersion or the chromatic dispersion we have to choose sources with a narrower spectral output width or by operating at a lower wavelength that is all about the material dispersion or the chromatic dispersion.